next is but very important which is the system resources in system resources you can see the management cpu and data plan cpu and at the same time there is a session count so you need to keep an eye upon these kind of resources because what happened for example you have this firewall and if your firewall is handling so much of traffic coming from your production network then these resources is gonna be very high utilized it's depend upon what kind of traffic it is handling like for example i have seen if we are using like url filtering and in url filtering if it is handling too much of data it's like filtering the traffic or blocking the traffic then this kind of you know resources get increased for example if the data plane cpu is goes up to like you can say 99 percent then in that case might happen your firewall might have some performance issue or in some cases it just reboot to itself as a you know inaccessible it become then you might be wondering what might happen so it happens due to because its data plan was very high utilized and firewall has rebooted itself or rebooted its own data plan and in that case you need to understand what was the traffic was causing the issue and you can open ticket with Palo Alto support and they will just try to identify what traffic might be you know causing this high CPU utilization so you need to keep an eye upon these system resources that is how you can understand the performance of this firewall now the next is logged in admin we already discussed this in our earlier video but let's have a brief upon this so this basically going to tell us like who is taking access and how so in this case i have taken the access of this firewall by using admin as a username and it is also going to tell us how you are taking the access so i have taken access by using console and i have taken access from the machine it shows us like which machine is taken the access so this is kind of you know can, you can also consider as a source of the connectivity who is taking access and how it's taking access so from console i have taken access by using cli and from my machine i have taken access by using web as you can see here from gui i have taken this access so these are the actually information you can also see from the logged in admin now the next one is the system logs this is basically going to tell us the activity is going through the firewall so if you have you know something going through the firewall maybe interface is coming up or coming down those are the activity you can also monitor from the system logs these activities you can also monitor from the monitor section but we will discuss that later when we will particularly discuss about this monitor section right now it's all about you know the monitoring the activity on the firewall so these are the information you can see in the system logs now let's move on to very important section which is the high availability as you can see i do not have any ha enabled or there is no information about the ha but let me show you one of the picture i have downloaded from the internet so this picture i have downloaded from internet and it's showing all about high availability and in this here we can see some information which is related to mode so mode is going to tell us whether the firewall is in active passive or active active for example if we have these two firewalls right let's give them name which is firewall 1 and firewall 2 okay and they have connected with each other to maintain the HA so this connectivity we call as an HA right and which are the mode they are in basically what happened you can make this firewall as an active and this firewall you can make passive so what happened when the production traffic is passing by this firewall only one firewall will handle the traffic and another firewall will remain in a standby position so what will happen basically when you have like for example this production traffic then all traffic will pass via this active firewall to internet and this passive firewall will remain in kind of standby position and if suppose this firewall goes down then only this firewall would become from passive to active so that is something active passive kind of mode but if you have the firewall which are basically in active active for example this is active active then what will happen this would have the load balance so 50% traffic or first packet or first 
kind of you know the frame will go through one firewall the another frame will go to the uh, firewall number two so it is something happens as a load balance is totally depend upon how you are doing the load balance between this active active firewall so in there you might gonna see like active active kind of mode if you have both firewall in active active state now the next information we see here which is the local and the peer local is basically when you have logged in on the particular firewall you're going to see the state so this particular admin had logged in into firewall number one and he sees as the local is basically suspended and it's suspended because of the non-functional loop is detected you can see the loop is detected and that is the reason this firewall number one it showing as a suspended or in inactive state and the peer which is 7134 has become back to so in here what is happening let me take it here hold on so we can remove it here and this firewall basically is not even in the active passive this is something we can say as a suspended which is not working and this firewall number two has become active so that is something they maintain the ha you know so those information you can see it from the firewall now the next information we see here which is the running config this is very important and it should be synchronized in green ball all the time for example firewall number one had the config which is abc and like abc version then firewall number two should also have the config version number abc if they have some differences in their configs then it is going to show us the little error because it is not in synchronized and if this firewall will go down then firewall number two may not have the proper config and you might see some error right or the protection traffic is not gonna work properly so this config has to be synchronized all the time now the next one we see here which is like uh, app version what we saw in the dashboard like uh, app version threat version antivirus version and of course pan os version this is we have 904 on our firewall right so these are the information has to be matched and they should be in green because if they have some differences on both the firewall then you might gonna see some red ball here and mismatch but when you are upgrading the firewall for example you have this firewall 904 both firewall 904 now let's suppose we have decided to upgrade our firewall number one and of course both the firewall but we have taken the firewall number one and upgraded to 10.0.0 then after upgradation if you are going to see the status then in here you are going to see the mismatch because of course the uh, firewall number one and two they are not matching the pan os and then only you're going to see like a red ball and they are not you know matching their pan os and once you upgrade firewall number two to 10.0.0 .0, then only you're going to see the green ball here now the next one is the global protect version so this is of course the vpn software if you have on the firewall then that should be matching on both the firewalls then you will be having the match now last but not least in ha which is the ha1 and ha2 these are basically the interfaces are connected on firewall so we can see in here this interface is belong to ha2 for example and this belong to ha1 if this interface is having any problems or they have some connection issue you might see some red ball here and you need to fix this issue as soon as possible because these two interfaces what they do basically they maintain their state and as well as they maintain their config with each other so they make sure that everything is going well from firewall 1 to firewall 2 and they maintain their uh, configuration and then only you can see proper synchronize here so whatever you changes you make firewall 1 will make sure that firewall 2 will have those exact changes and ha1 and ha2 are used for those kind of synchronization so this is all about the high availability on this firewall and you can see there are some other informations are also available like config logs like logs and some acc so those are the information you can use but 
the information what we discuss here these are the commonly used information we monitor on this firewall so this is all about the dashboard in next section we will try to understand the different sections and at the same time we will try to configure them on this Palo Alto firewall so see you there